There's our man, Brennan. Don't you love the rejoinder with all the faces and I do. emotion and personality of Bruce Brennan? What do you think he's doing right now? He's, he's got a oh, Mai Tai. I, I know what he's doing. He's got he's a Mai Tai. He's on the back. beach. Yeah. Well, on the sandy white beaches with the beautiful, serene blue waters, and he and yes. white Jackie are yes. living large. Yes. I think you should yeah. take a picture of like his feet and send it in. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> send us a postcard, Drennan. Yeah, a cool. pictorial postcard, find <laughs> a way. Amanda John joins us, and she has a tremendous hockey background, by the way. Now, you down, you covered the NHL down in Atlanta, correct? I did, yeah. correct, yes. Yeah. I did uh, you, ringside reporting. Oh, you enjoy, so you were there during the game. Yes. Did features, right? Yes, uh, I did player profile. Files, wow. and that's how I ultimately ended up um, dating the, the goaltender there, oh, Damien Rhodes, okay. and uh, it worked out for me. I married him, or he married me, and we had two kids. One so. of the both. Wow, that's tremendous. He asked me out after I left, though, so it was a little bit, uh, it wasn't on the DL or anything weird. It was it was after. Love blooming on ice uh, yes. down in Atlanta, but uh, well, we're <laughs> delighted to have you here. And, Thanks. You know, as we know, when you, as you found out, you know, you're around professional athletes all the time, and, yeah. you know, we think that it's all about, but they, they're not robots. They They've got a life too, and isn't it interesting sometimes, Amanda? Some of the the things that they involve themselves with with that we wouldn't expect off ice, off court, off field. That's some of my favorite things about my job is I get to do player profiles, yeah. and you get to see what they're like off the ice or, or off the court mm -hmm. or, or otherwise. So of course, you know, right now the Lake Erie Monsters are in the middle of their division and on the bubble for a chance at playoff hockey. There's still plenty of time left, and leading the team is two young goalies, Sammy Idacalio, just arrived from. Finland in the fall and already he's dishing up some great saves and some recipes. Right side, Everly cutting in a shot, saved by Idacalio, the rebound is stopped. 20-year-old Sammy Idacalio looks like a veteran between the pipes. Right side, Tyler Fadoon, he's denied by Idacalio. It's hard to believe he's only been in the States for a few months. It was a bit different and uh, well, the culture is actually not that different after all. Uh, there is some some small differences, but like to be the same. So uh, that wasn't a big shock to come over. In Finland, students are required to start taking English classes in the third grade. I always wanted to learn that because I knew I want to be a pro hockey player. I want to come over here to play hockey. So that's really important to speak English. Makes things a lot easier. Knowing the language is a start, but his road began with no cell phone, no car, and no familiar faces. Yeah, that was that was pretty pretty uh, tough time. When uh, I moved here, uh, we had seven other guys living right this area, so that wasn't so bad because I al always got ride right to uh, practice rink, and uh, the phone wasn't that easy to get. I I was. Uh, a bit surprised because it took like two days to get that and car was pretty easy to get took like 30 minutes to get that oh well, that's good yeah. that's easier than a phone yeah <laughs> not only can this netminder stop the puck out of necessity he has learned to cook even putting a twist on his mother's finished recipes all right so what are we making today uh like i said it's uh, going to be Macaroni box. <laughs> macaroni. We're gonna call it macaroni box. But yeah. what is that called in Finland? Uh, it's a uh, macaroni laatikko. So it's kind of mac and cheese with uh, meat. Perfect. I love mac and cheese with meat. Let's go for it. <laughs> All, right. All right. So you're just browning the meat. Yeah. I noticed right there the Lowry seasoning. How would you know to get Lowry's? I had no idea what to get when I first went to a grocery shop. So. Uh, I just bought what I wanted and I still I'm still lost when I go there. Okay, what are we doing with the eggs, Sammy? Uh, I'm gonna do like uh, egg egg and uh, milk mix. I'm gonna add it with uh, ground beef and macaroni. Kind of sticks it together and keeps it kind of moist. Ooh. Looks, good. looks fantastic. It looks delicious. Look at that. No, it's delicious. 
It's really, really good. It's like, um, better, but it reminds me a little bit of like beefaroni. Do you know what beefaroni is? I'm no idea what that is. <laughs> well, you just made homemade beefaroni and it, right. it's delicious. That's um, good to hear. Great job. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Can you come home and teach my husband? <laughs> one goalie to, one, to yeah. another? Yeah, sure. And we can teach you a couple old man moves on the ice and you can teach him how to cook. Yeah, that's right. Alright, what's the deal? All right, Sammy, I'm, I'm keeping you to that. You gotta come over and teach him how to do more than boil water at my house. Now, the next Monsters game is Thursday at the Q, January 24th. What a great kid. What a nice story, too. You know, he comes over from Finland. He doesn't know anybody. No cell phone, no right. car. Right. You know, a lot of times I think you think of athletes where they're just given everything and they have this glitz and glamour. And really, I mean, it's kind of, well, Skype now helps out. But oh, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. A lonely for a lot of those guys to come over from a different country. At least he knows the language. But it's, it can be a little bit rough. I like how you slid that in there so he's going to go let your better half know how to make his way around the kitchen right you think that's going to work well, I would love for him to come over. What are you going to lay it on your husband about, hey, hey honey, I got, I got the young goalie from the Monsters right? coming over to, to help you around the kitchen. Well, my guy's like 43, this guy's 20. <laughs> I don't know. I think I do too much for him. I think I, I, I cook too much. I have to just go like this and just let him on his own, right? Yeah, yeah. That's well, what uh, well, Sammy he had to do it. I mean, nobody's making food for him. Has it worked for uh, for you, though, and being helped out in the kitchen? No, but he's a great guy. I'm lucky. I, did, I, I got a good the, catch. I married uh, a good one. Of course. You better say that. <laughs> um, Sammy, in terms of... Uh, his on ice capability since you've been around the National Hockey League, mm -hmm. uh, 20 years of age, just started a couple years yeah. in a profession. What do you think? Does do you think potentially he could make the NHL? You know, I certainly do. It, it it's being a goaltender is such a high pressure position and you never know what's going to happen mm -hmm. i mean i know even with my husband my husband was taken in the seventh round and drafted by toronto they go well we didn't think that you would be that good we never thought you'd really make it right. he was dra drafted sammy in the fourth round mm -hmm. he's he's a young guy he's got the size he's uh got great hands and and you know what i i think you will we'll see i mean he's definitely he has the mental toughness which is a lot of it with a goaltender i mean it's one of those jobs where yeah you're either the hero or everybody hates you. Yeah, one of the toughest jobs in professional sports. Yeah. No question about it, right? But I wish him the best of luck because, I mean, he let us into his little apartment Aww, and showed us around nice. and, and, you know, and he, and he cooked for us. I mean, my crew loved it, too. It just wasn't me. It was very, very good. Sammy yeah. has a domestic side. No question about that. Yeah. Yeah. He can start making uh, that for all the teammates now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Get the, you got this. Give us the recipe. That's what get I was going to say. You know what? I think I'm going to do. I have to, get, I have to get better on social media. I'll put it on, t on his Twitter. Yeah. And then I'll put it on the Lake Erie Monsters Twitter and I'll, our website as well. It's a beautiful thing. Good seeing you, Amanda. Good to see All you right. too, Michael. Nice stuff. Amanda Thanks. John, uh, Inside the Life in the Kitchen yes. of, uh, uh, how do you pronounce the name again? Sammy? Ida Kalio. Ida Kalio. Sammy.